Hello. Today I will show you how to solve for a nonlinear equation of one unknown. What is a nonlinear equation? A nonlinear equation is the kind of equation has the degree not one, such as two, three, four, five, and so on. Therefore, the degree of the equation will tell you how many solutions the equation may have. If we have the degree of three, that is the highest exponent of the unknown in the equation. That equation may have up to three solutions. This is the perfect example for a nonlinear equation, and the degree now is three. So this equation may have up to three solutions. Over here, we have this quantity to the second power. If you FOIL this out, we have the second degree for the unknown of x. So this equation may have up to two solutions. Now, let's go to the guideline, how to solve for a nonlinear equation of one unknown. First, we have to clear all fraction by the LCD, which is the least common denominator. Second, we will perform FOIL. If we have any FOILing inside the equation, we have to work on that. The FOIL of the equation is the quantity a plus or minus b to the second power, and you have to work it out. You can do it mentally, or you can FOIL them out mechanically, a plus b times a plus b, or you work it out mentally, and the answer would be a squared plus or minus 2ab plus b squared. And after you perform FOIL, you have to check for distributive property, which is a times the quantity of b plus c, and you work it in, we have a times b plus a times c. And after you did distributive property, or you perform distribution, we have to combine like terms on each side of the equation. And then, unlike linear equation, for nonlinear equation, we have to rearrange all the terms in descending order of the exponent. The highest exponent comes first, and the next one, and the next one, and so on. The other side of the equation is clear. We have to set that side equal to zero. And after you rearrange all the terms, then you could solve by zero factor property. If the polynomial could be factor, so we use what we have learned in factoring to factor it down. Okay? And then we apply zero factor property to solve. I will demonstrate to you step by step how to solve for two nonlinear equation. This is example number one. I have four out of 27 times x to the third power equals one-third x. And we do have fraction of both sides of the equation, so we want to clear those denominators first. I multiply the left and the right side of my equation by 27. 27 is the LCD. 3 goes into 27 9 times, and 27 divide out 27 1 time. And the left side I have 4x to the third power. And the right side I have 9x. And after that, you ask yourself, do I have any foiling inside this equation? Check for step number 2. We don't have any. Then move to step number three. Do we have any distribution property? We don't have any. And then we go to step number four, rearrange terms. Now please notice the highest power is three. Therefore, the leading coefficient is four. We prefer to rearrange all terms to the side where the leading coefficient positive, so we don't have to factor out the negative one. So in this case, I will take 9x to the left. I subtract 9x to both sides of my equation. I have 4x to the third power minus 9x equals 0. And then I ask myself, 
okay, can I factor any GCF out? In this case, we do have GCF among these two terms, which is X. I factor out X, and the remainder would be 4X squared minus 9. And you notice that 4x squared minus 9 is a difference of two perfect squares. So you can break it down as the foil of two conjugate. 2x plus 3, 2x minus 3. And then we apply zero factor property. We have three quantities, x, 2x plus 3, times 2x minus 3 equals zero. Then either x equals 0 or 2x plus 3 equals 0 or 2x minus 3 equals 0. And then go ahead and solve for each equation. This equation is solved. The second one, I solve for x. I minus 3 to both sides. Then I divide it by 2. My solution is negative 3 halves. And this equation, I add 3 to both sides. I divide it by 2. I have 3 halves. So the degree of my nonlinear equation, 3, so I have up to 3 solutions. One is 0. The other one is negative 3 halves or 3 halves. Over here, I am going to show you the second example. And once again, we go through all steps. Step by step, how to solve for a nonlinear equation. Ask yourself, do I need to clear any fractions in this equation? We don't see any, so we skip the first step. Second, do I need to FOIL? Yes, this is the FOIL. I prefer to FOIL this out mentally. I work this out. This matching with the formula A minus B to the second power, so I work it out. My first term would be x squared minus. My middle term would be 6x. x times 3, 3x times 2, 6x. Negative 3 to the second power would be 9 equals 5 times x minus 3 plus 3. After I FOIL it out, then I distribute 2 in. I have 2x squared minus 12x plus 18. On the right side, I do the same. I distribute 5 in, 5x minus 15 plus 3, and then we have the combined like terms on each side of the equation before you move to the next term. To my right, negative 15 combined with 3 would be negative 12. Over here, none like terms, so I keep them the same. And the next step, rearrange terms after you FOIL, after you distribute, combine like terms, we have to rearrange terms. And notice, my highest power is 2, and the leading coefficient in this case is 2 positive. So I would like to rearrange all the terms to the left, where my leading coefficient is positive. So I have 2x squared, negative 12x, subtract 5x to both sides, minus 5x, and then plus 18. Add 12 to both sides. Then combine like terms, I have 2x squared minus 17x plus 30 equals 0. I come down to the simplified, a very simplified trinomial, 2x squared minus 17x plus 30. And we try to solve for this. So we try to break it down to the FOIL of two binomials. 2x squared, there's only one way for me to break it down as 2x times x. 15, 15 could be 15 times 2, 
6 times 5 or 3 times 10 and this is positive 30 so I have to pick the two numbers I place them in here so when I FOIL them out I earn the two X terms add up to be negative 17 so let's see if I use 6 and 5 I place the 6 here and the 5 here please remember I don't want to place the 6 here where 2x in the same quantity because 6 and 2x will give you a GCF since we don't have any GCF when we move to the next step so therefore 6 is not allowed to be in the same quantity with 2x so I have to place the 6 here and the 5 here and 30 is positive so these two numbers should be negative and double check to see if I have negative 17x 2x times negative 6 is negative 12x negative 5 times x would be negative 5x and we look out negative 5x combined with negative 12x and negative 17x so that is a good factoring and then the next step is solving we have to use zero factor property so I set 2x minus 5 equals 0 or x minus 6 equals 0 and solve so this equation give me one solution is 6 this equation is we add 5 divided by 2 5 halves so I just show you how to solve for a nonlinear equation of one unknown by zero factor property. Please remember, we have to go through these steps. We only have five steps. The first step is clear all the fraction if you have any fraction inside the equation. And the second step, perform FOIL. You can do it mechanically. You can FOIL them out term by term or you can do it mentally. And the next step, we have to look for any distributive property inside the equation, and we work on that. And after that, we combine like terms on each side of the equation. And then we rearrange terms. We take all the terms to one side of the equation, and we come down with the final, final polynomial. And the other side has to be zero, so you could be able to apply the solving by zero-factor property. Thank you.